In this screencast I'm going through how you can do a head cam analysis in 3D Rerun. I assume that both the map is uploaded to 3D Rerun and the video is uploaded to YouTube or another video service. In this example the map is from the uh, World Championship 2010 medal qualification. I've uploaded it a long time ago. We find it here. Mock Metal Qual Heat C for Christiane Tröse. We choose this map and uh, we add a head cam video. This has been uploaded to YouTube. And uh, I think it is uh, this one. And we click Start Head Cam Analysis. And uh, the video opens in a window here. And the map in a window here. Uh, the first thing you have to do is to make sure the map and the video is in sync. I've cheated a little bit here and I'm using a local version of the video instead of the YouTube version because uh, my internet connection is not fast enough to be able to go back and forwards in the YouTube video all the time. So I change over to the local version. It's exactly the same video, only I've driving it from a local web server instead of from the YouTube server. So we still have a video offset of 0 seconds here. Now we have to find out what the correct video offset is in order to have the video and the GPS track in uh, sync. So the best way to do that is to find a point in uh, on the map where you're sure you are and find the same point in the video. So uh, now we press the control key and the left mouse button and move the map over here. You see the video is moved to the same place, except there is no synchronization yet. So now let us start the video from here. And uh, we see that now we are to con control on the map and we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 seconds. So uh, the video was 10 seconds after the map. So then we have to put in a video offset of minus 10 seconds here. Use a positive value if the video starts after G GPS, negative if the video starts before the GPS. Now we click change video offset and we try again to start the uh, GPS from just before the control. Click start. And uh, we see hopefully that the video and the GPS is now in sync. Yes, just in the middle of the control circle we have the video in the same place. To check if it's really in sync we can check another place. Uh, let's for example go uh, over here to control number 4. So the control should be just around here and there we are, just in the middle. So it looks like we're still in sync. Let's look at a third place. For example here, just at this last control. And let's see. There we are, still in sync. So that means now we have the video and the map in sync. So now we uh, can start the analysis. Uh, I'm not going through the details of the analysis here, but uh, as you can see, by left clicking anywhere on the map, we can now go where we want to, uh, to see what has happened there. We can also click this small symbol here to let the camera follow the runner. So now the camera automatically follows the position of the runner through the course. So if you click here now, we get to the first control and the camera follows again and so on. 
I've written an article over at uh, otraining.net which explains you how to do the uh, analysis in itself. That's a completely different story. Now I've only shown you how to do the technical part of it. So uh, then we can go back to the main page and uh, good luck with your use of 3D rerun.